Hello Southview, this is Pastor Sean and I am so excited to have our college student here. Um, let's see. Um, we have, uh, you know, we have many college students and I found a few of them and they are agreed to join with us this morning. Um, why don't you guys introduce yourself briefly about your name, school, major, stuff like that, starting with Oliver. Oh, it, well, hi, my name is Oliver Nelson. I go to North Hennepin Community College. Uh, my major is music and with a cert certification to become a paralegal. Uh, why don't you guys introduce oh. about your names? Hannah? Hi, I'm Hannah Houchins. I go to Union College in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I'm studying accounting and finance. Go, we have. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Rebecca Biogo, and I go to the University of North Dakota up in Grand Forks. And my major is computer science and math. Okay. Hi, my name is Lorna Biogo, and I go to school in Andrews University. I'm majoring in psychology, and I have minors in international development and business management all right here we go um i'm tracy and i go to union college and i'm majoring in nursing okay well first of all i would like to welcome all of you guys uh joining with us uh how was your school uh, i'm just curious i know i i mean we're gonna talk we're gonna be talking about it later um, seems like the virus created a lot of dramas, I guess. But how was your school so far before you uh, back here to, to Minnesota? Who wants to go first? You want me to point? Hannah, let's go with Hannah. Go ahead. Hannah. Um, so before everything happened, I think we were all pretty busy keeping up. Uh, there were a lot of events going on, a lot of events got, were going to be planned coming up in the next couple months, but now that the virus, they kind of, we had to cancel them. Um, but it was good. We were all pretty busy. The weather was getting nicer, so we were all getting happy with the sun coming out and everything. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Um, I know for my school, we were preparing for the uh, National Society of Black Engineers Convention. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to get everything settled for that. That's and really cool. Is, also, was it, is it canceled? Yeah, oh. it's uh, postponed to online in August. Okay. I don't know how that will work, <laughs> but all the companies are going to like come together and have an online convention. So okay. they're going to send us more information on how to do that. But we're also planning a lot of, um, we have certain uh, cultural events that were going on. That were had to cancel, so that was sad part of it. That's pretty sad. What about you, Lona? Um, I would say that there were a lot of trips being planned, like mission trips for um spring break. I know there was one to Lebanon and one to Morocco, I think. Um, and those just had to be canceled because they couldn't take any chances. But yeah, people were really excited just to go on trips for spring break. And apart from that, it was it was pretty normal. No one really said anything much about it before it got to the point that it's at now. Okay. Um, Tracy? Um, Hannah and I go to the same school, so pretty much about the same, but I'm a nursing major, so I never know what's going on other than my books. So <laughs> I was completely oblivious to everything until we got the email. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Here, Oliver, how about you? Uh, so since like I'm part of a paralegal club, so we were actually planning a trip to go to the ACER. It's a uh, court of appeal, St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, we were supposed to have Senate meetings to ask for money. And when I, I was a representative for the club, and so all that got canceled. And I, I'm 100% sure that our trip to the A Circuit's Court of Appeals is also canceled. It was supposed to happen like in early May. And uh, yeah, so that, that's those are the pretty big things that happened at North Hennepin. Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, talking about the virus, I know you guys are all uh, Southview members. We should welcome these students. They are back home right now. Not just for spring break, but because of the virus. So, what, what was happening after that this virus thing just spread it out on, on the media? What was happening on your, your school? Starting with Tracy. Let's start with you, Tracy. Um, well, at first they sent out an email saying that um, they were going to switch everything to online. And if we wanted to stay on campus, if we didn't have anywhere to go home to, we could do that. And they also told us that um, nursing, PA, um, OT, and education majors might have to come back. So for those of us who are in those majors, we just packed like enough clothes for a week for spring break in the hopes of that we would come back because we do need clinical hours in the hospital and stuff like that to get enough hours to graduate. So we thought we'd be coming back, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people tried to move out that week because they didn't have to come back. Um, but we found out this week that we don't have to come back either because it's too risky going into the hospitals, as they said. Um, so yeah, everyone was just scrambling around trying to get home, trying to figure out how they're going to do that. Okay. As they switched everything to online. So you like you're. I mean, can you still do the like practical or clinical here in Minnesota, or you have to eventually go back? So they were trying to look at different options for us. Um, they thought that could have been an option, but from what we were told earlier this week is that they'll just completely do everything online. They're not completely sure about how they'll do the clinical portion, but they'll let us know by Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm. So that should be interesting. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you, Lorna? I, I heard some dramas from Andrews. What was going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah, it was a little wild. So um, there was rumors about it the week before spring break starting on the monday our teachers told us that we should pack all of our books and that we may not be able to come back to school but that was still just rumors and then that wednesday they had a meeting with all the staff in the church and people were watching that meeting and they found out from the meeting and not from an email that they decided to uh proceed with the rest of the school year online and so the next day, well, that day, everything was hectic because people were trying to use up like the rest of their money for like the CAF account because <laughs> they didn't it doesn't, return. It doesn't I mean, get refund refunded. So yeah, no, they don't refund it. Oh. So it was a little hectic because everyone was scrambling and trying to do things at the same time. All the buildings were very busy. Um, and everyone was just like, it seemed like everyone was scared, honestly. Mm. And like really stressed out and so the next day they had like a town hall meeting and they kind of explained how they were going to proceed and they said that the only people that could stay were people that were on the exempt list so international students mm -hmm. students that are financially independent of their parents and then stem students and flight students mm. okay so it seems like everyone is well did you want to say something oliver oh i'm i mean i can uh but so basically at North Hennepin, uh, I was on spring break as it was already. So um, as I was on spring break, uh, my math in, in my math class, she has a text messaging like system for all the students. So she, I had like 20 or 25 text messages coming in like daily break on my phone. It was just going off in the middle of the night, middle of the day. And uh, it was just kind of it was kind of crazy because uh, for a math class, like it's it's kind of hard to do things online. So she was kind of scrambling to like get us information on on what the school is doing and information on, uh, on like how we can get Zoom to communicate with her online. If we need help. And I'm not gonna lie, I, it was kind of a blessing because I was falling a little behind in the class. So I kind of needed a little more extra time for uh, stuff to be due. But I'm a good student, I promise. But um, <laughs> and so it's it was uh, it was it was still pretty hectic though, and um, people were um, uh, like the the up the North Hennepin did a really good job of just updating the students 
really well of like, oh, we're going to extend the spring break another week. And so, yeah. Okay. So going to Hannah, like I assume you will be taking classes on online. What's your plan? How do you, what's, what's your kind of impression like? Well, for me, a lot of my classes, I think, translate very easily to online since I'm doing business. It's not like labs or a lot of things that need to be in person. So I think for my professors, it's not that huge of a mishap happening. Um, I think it'll just be a lot more on me to make sure like I'm communicating with my professors because I really like talking in person. I'm not really fond of doing like emailing and all that but i'm gonna have to do a lot more of that since we're not going to be in person but i think it'll work out in the end because okay. it's a lot better than not taking the classes at all and losing those credits we've already been working for for eight weeks yeah that's right what about you becky what's your plan for your online courses um since work is also canceled i think it'll be easier but when oliver was saying about the math class i'm taking one and math is a really hard class to teach when it's online, but our teacher is going to have one day and two hours in that day specifically for trying to like give us homework help through Zoom. So we have to learn how to get that. And the other classes, the public speaking classes and English classes, those will not be as hard because you already have your groups to come together and we use Google Docs to make our projects. So that shouldn't be as hard. But the one thing I'm most concerned about is blocking out time to actually do the homework <laughs> and do the assignments on my own without the teacher telling you what to do every hour of the day. Okay. So that would be what I'll have to like start scheduling to my plan or something. Yeah, if you have a question, talk to Allison. She's a teacher. She can help. <laughs> Nice. Definitely. Um, yeah. Most definitely. Um, last question to all of you guys. Um, you know, is this time that it's just interesting, right? Like the classes can get canceled, everything online. You cannot really go out, hang out in the mall or, you know, because we have this great idea of social distancing right now. Uh, in the time like this, you know, for you personally, like how do you, you know, how do you rely on Jesus in a time of trouble like this? Uh, I just want to go to everyone, starting with Oliver. Uh, well... I think the most, um, I think the first thing we have to realize is that we're human, so we're naturally going to react and it against to the accordance of like what the Bible is telling us during a time like this. So our natural human inclination is to be fearful, to be like filled with anxiety and being like really worried and scared. And so I know personally, like something that God has really helped me realize is in my personal walk with him, I found uh, he, he led me to a verse in Luke chapter 12, uh, Luke chapter 12, verses uh, 22 through, uh, through uh, 23. And it says, then he said to his disciples, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food and the body is more than clothing. And to give like a little synopsis of everything Jesus is talking about in this chapter, like, you know, how he uh, provides for the lilies, how the lilies and how the ravens are uh, provided for from God. And it just remember at a time like this, that though the ravens are according to God, um, I am more valuable to God and God will provide for me even more so than the ravens and the lilies of the valley and everything like that in a time like this. Because um, it's easy to just get worried, but what we have to remember, what he's helping me to remember is that I got you exactly with everything you're going to ask for, everything that you're worried about at a time like this. Okay, that's really cool. Hannah? I think Oliver put it in a really good way. Where we set our trust um, is really important, and knowing that God will take care of us even when our fear can overtake us is really important. Hmm. All right, let's move on to uh, Becky and Lorna. What do you guys think? Um, for me, it's just, I don't know. I haven't really been as worried as I think I should be about this, mainly because of the Matthew 6, 34 verse, do not be anxious about tomorrow because tomorrow will be anxious for itself, sufficient for the day of its own troubles. Um, 
I've noticed a big shift in how we pray and what we pray for and everything around us. We all focusing on healing and protection and our people. So I think God is really, really listening to what we're saying. Also encouraging each other is not to be worried at the same time. It's helping not just myself so that I can focus on other things, but help my parents as well and grandparents who are, who could be potential, like really huge risk for it. But mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's, it's a good time to kind of take a step back and reflect on um, your relationship with God. I don't know, just because I feel like usually at school I'm really busy mm -hmm. and everything, but because this situation has happened, it's given me some time to lean on God more and trust him more because there was a certain point in time when I was flying and I was like, I'm so scared, but there's nothing I can do about it. So the only thing I can do right now is to trust in God. And ever since then, it's just been like about rebuilding my relationship with him. So okay. that's really cool. Lastly, Tracy. Um, I think just like the others have said, it's definitely really important to remember that we have to trust God because we're not really in control of this. I mean, we can do our part by social distancing, but ultimately our trust should be in God. Um, it's definitely easier said than done. And for that part, it's more of just practicing, giving your heart to him, praying, you know, you build a relationship by spending time with God. So I think that's the most important. And I also think that something that could be positive from this mm -hmm. is just because people aren't going to work. Your mom and dad are home. Your siblings are home. I think it's really important to take the time and just spend with them because kind of like Lona said, we get caught up um, with work, social media, all of that kind of stuff. We have the opportunity to spend time with our families. Um, I feel like the world is so busy nowadays that we forget to sit down at dinner and just have that time with our families and talk about our days. So mm -hmm. I think that's really important too. That's cool. Oliver, did you want to say something? Yeah, one last thing before we go. I think another thing too, um, Becky touched on it too, but realizing like, so if, if we trust God right now and if he, if we believe and he's going to provide for us, I think another thing in a time like this is also to help others who can't get help for themselves right now. Mm -hmm. Like I know at the ABC I work at, there was a lady who came into the store and she said, man, it's been so hard to find food. It's been so hard to find food and get supplies for my family. And that really, that happened like this week. And that really struck a chord with me because it's like, I'm, I've am i been so caught up, worried about, you know, oh, making sure like I'm safe, making sure I don't got the virus or I'm, you know, washing my hands. But there's actually other people who need food, mm -hmm. who need help, who need whatever I can do to help them to better their lives and point them to Jesus as well at a time like this is also very critical and important too. Wow. That's really cool thoughts. So thank you guys. I mean, yeah, definitely we we have this opportunity to be with family, your parents, your siblings, and also staying home and study. That's that's another thing I think is really cool. <laughs> uh, and also this time that we can reflect God and uh, trusting in Him, right? So thank you, uh, Oliver, Hannah, Becky, Lorna, and Tracy. Uh, I just want to uh, ask our church members to remember our college student and pray for them. And we have more than five but uh just remember them in your prayers because they will be taking class including myself i have to start class from monday it's going to be intensive 13 day class i'll be watching uh it's going to be zoom so i think you know i was thinking that you know i'm gonna have red eye for a few weeks after this because <laughs> like eight hours of class well you know looking into computer all day long but anyway i, I mean, like you guys said we can trust in god and he will carry us through so thank you for your time you guys have a wonderful sabbath <laughs> And this moment, Safiu, we're going to have a, you know, we've been singing the same song 